Hello world, I'm Chris Perillo, and you've tuned in to another live edition of Perillo Picks. I do this every weekday. It's sandwiched within the bread of the Locker Gnome Daily Report, TLDR. And see, then after I do this, I'm going to be answering tech questions and geek questions with my community at chrisperillo.com. And then after that, I'm going to be talking about today's techie and geek news. So if you want to hear any of that, you have to become a patron. Head over to chrisperillo.com to become a patron. Let me go ahead and press play there. So I make sure that they get the credit that they deserve as being supporters. Also, being a supporter of my daily live broadcasts that you can tune into. This. Well, maybe not the product, the company. Bitdefender. They make something that you need to pay attention to. I've talked about smart devices not necessarily being the smartest thing that you can do. And uh, we've seen this play out over and over again, almost on a daily basis. Uh, Many people don't remember when they plug in a device to their network that they're plugging in a computer. Just because it's a light bulb uh, doesn't mean that it isn't a computer if it's something that would be considered a smart light bulb. You know, one of those light bulbs that you can control remotely and and change the color to. Um, You know, if it's something that has a chip inside, it's something that is smart, it is a computer. It's a computer. It may not have a keyboard on it, but it's a computer. And you got to be careful with computers. You wouldn't sit down at a a traditional computer, let's say, without any form of protection. You probably also wouldn't want to use a computer without any form of protection. What are you doing to protect your network? Anything at all? I don't know. I mean, everybody has a different way of doing it. Bitdefender's got a solution. And this is something that uh, fascinates me. In fact, I've got one to give away. If you want one, uh, let me know because I have another one to give away because I can only use one honestly. And I'm going to unbox it here in just a second. I just want to read off uh, the back of the box as I unbox it here. There's there's a description. Bitdefender box protects all of your connected devices. So you plug it into your home network. Uh, It's like an antivirus for your home network. That's what they say. But it's deeper than that. It defends your home from fraud, malware, data theft, phishing, spying, and other online threats. Just connect it to your home Wi-Fi router, set it up in minutes, and control it from anywhere. It's got uh, an iOS app as well as an Android app. So you can get it in either uh, the Google Play Store or the App Store. Everything's done by way of iOS and or Android apps, using notifications to keep you connected. Uh, You could even uh, set it up to uh, locate lost devices, limit international data roaming uh, or mobile plans, perform system tune-ups, all through a simple app on your smartphone. And see, that to me is is just simple. It's like, oh, I just plug it in and I'm good to go. And that's kind of what it looks like. That's what it's about to look like. As soon as I open it here and figure out a way in... That's ironic. It's designed to keep people out, and I'm trying to find a way into the box. It is simple to open here as I slice through it. Bottom, there we go. See, it says security of things. Very few people think about that as a feature. Security is the number one feature that people don't think about. Well, I needed to drop that anyway. Okay, I'm going to do it this way. (laughs) I was trying to slice it out that way. Oh, I see. There's a little bit of tape. Sometimes you have to be smarter than the box. So right there, we've got a B bit defender. We're going to open it up kind of-ish and see what comes in there. There we go. Very nice. Very clean. Insanely lightweight. We've got a couple of Ethernet ports in the back. Let's go ahead and remove this bit of cellophane. A white box. And we also have a micro USB cable adapter or the uh, port for it. Uh, reset button, input and output, I'd assume. That's it. It's just insanely... This is a computer itself, this thing. This, this very white thing. For anybody who's saying, Chris, you're white. No, I'm not as white as this. This is white. Plug it in. Um, of course, do your research on the product, too. It also comes with a, a micro USB cable and the AC adapter in which the, plug, uh, the cable plugs into which plugs into this. So you could even travel with this if you wanted to. It's very, it's insanely lightweight. Like it hardly feels like it's, you know what? I'm not going to go this far, but it almost w- feels like it weighs as much as the uh, the AC adapter for the, uh, the micro USB cable. It's insanely lightweight. Hardly anything to it. But you know what? The bottom line is if you plug something into your network, uh, just keep in mind that you're, you're potentially opening yourself up to a, a, a sea of trouble. I mean, forget about the technical support issues abound with a smart device that just doesn't work, that inevitably stops being supported. Even the more popular smart devices um, have uh, caused people a great deal of consternation. I still feel that uh, 
a smart home right now is not a very smart idea. That's that's just what I feel. So I see all these smart gadgets and I'm like, ah, do not want. I've been talking about this for years. If you've been listening, most people don't though. They they run into problems and I I shrug emojis because I'm like, what do you think I was saying? So uh, if you're looking for a way to potentially protect yourself beyond how you believe you've already protected yourself, every device you connect to the network is a computer. Take the next step. Uh, Bitdefender's got a solution for you, the Bitdefender box. It's very, very simple, very clean, very straightforward, and I have one to give away. Maybe a couple, I, but if you want one, if you, you just got, you got to let me know, though. You got to, I mean, comment, you know, let me know what you, why you want it. Well, I know why you want it. But hey, just let me know you're there. That's, there you go, and I'll pick one at random. How's that sound? Thanks again to uh, Bitdefender for uh, sending this along and uh, for sponsoring uh, this uh, particular broadcast today. I am going to move on to answering uh, tech questions and geek questions and then talking about today's tech news and general geek news. I uh, do that every single weekday within the sand. I'm sandwiching this within the bread of TLDR. This is the butter. Can I say but no, butter, butter in, in sandwiches? Does anybody do that? Peanut butter. Perilla picks is the peanut butter of the TLDR sandwich. I'm getting hungry. Anyway, you can get the full broadcast by heading over to chrisperillo.com. If you do not become a patron, then you don't get the full broadcast.